Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm kicking off the first video in a three-part series, which are all videos relating to Christmas. Today's is the first advent calendar video, which has days 1 through 12, next will be 13 through 24, and then a special Christmas mock. Let's get right into it. For day number one, we have Harry Potter and his Yule Ball outfit. I think this is a really great minifigure, and I especially like the printing on the torso. I actually have the very first minifigure, so maybe eventually I'll do a comparison of the two minifigures. Along with the brand new Harry Potter minifigure, we also get this small side table build. It comes with a candle and this brand new Yule Ball flyer print. It's a really unique print because we hold it in the light, you can see these small reflective snowflakes. On day number 2, we get the small mini scale Hogwarts build. I think the designers did a great job with this one considering how low the piece count is for it. On day number 3, we got the Dermstrang ship. I think it's a pretty great build design overall and it includes a lot of really nice pieces to add to your collection. On day number 4, we have the Bobaton carriage. I think this is one of the best builds by far because of the great color scheme and on the front it has a small pegasus that's carrying the carriage. On day number 5, we got this brand new Parvati Paddle May figure. She has a shiny torso and her dress looks really nice. I especially liked how they made the dress considering all the other May figures have the mid legs. It's just comprised of a 1x2 brick with the print going along the front of it and a 1x2 plate underneath it. And finally for day number 6, we have the Goblet of Fire. It's a very solid build and I think it came out really well. Here we can get a better look at its blue sparkly flame piece. It almost reminds me of a certain piece that came in one of the LEGO Movie 2 sets that also had the shimmery effect on it. Here are the builds all together from days 1 through 6, now let's take a look at the builds from days 7 through 12. On day number 7, we got this vintage record player. This is one of the builds I was looking at most forward to, just because of its great part usage. For day number 8, we got this nice small maroon couch that you can fit a minifigure on, along with a golden egg piece, which any minifigure can hold. Here's a look at Harry Potter with the golden egg. On day number 9, we got the small potion table, or just a table to hold your drinks. It comes with a really interesting cross piece at the bottom that I've actually never seen before. On day number 10, we got this brand new Ron Weasley May figure, and he's wearing his Yule Ball outfit. For day number 11, we got this really nicely built fireplace. You can see the trans orange pieces in the bottom to represent the flames, and it includes a nice little stocking too. And finally, for day number 12, we got the small drink stand that can be used to sell drinks at the Yule Ball. Just like the fireplace, it's really well built, and it's much sturdier than you would think. As you can see here, the drink stand can actually connect with the fireplace to create a small little setup that looks really nice together. And here's the back side of both of those together. And they connect at a small hinge piece. Here are all of the builds from day 7 through 12 all together. We got some really solid builds from days 1 through 12 and I can't wait to see what we get next. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's see if we can hit 70 subscribers before December ends. Thanks for watching.